All right, welcome back to this Tim Wolves My NBA. And as you can tell, we are back in the playoffs. That is because I had to uh, delete the old file and restart this one because the other one was kind of glitched a little. But everything is basically the same except the playoffs because I had to simulate from start today. So the playoffs look completely different. And we are the four seed instead of in the play-in. But like I did last episode, I'm just going to simulate the entire playoffs uh, because I don't care. And we're going to lose to the Clippers. Yeah, we get swept by Clippers as expected. The Phoenix Suns. In the NBA Finals against the Boston Celtics and the Celtics sweep the Phoenix Suns player retirement. Giannis Haslam, all the retirements are the same, except I think there was um, some really still decent players uh, that wanted to retire. So this is a lot better. Now it's actually players who might retire, except Greg Popovich retires. Uh, I am going to not override that because he is actually a free agent um, coach. So I'm actually going to let him walk because he usually doesn't resign with the Spurs. Dwight Howard enters the Hall of Fame and gets his number retired with the Orlando Magic. Everything gets rejected. The draft lottery, though, is going to be different, and the entire draft is going to be different now. Uh, we do not have a lottery pick, and the Rockets win the lottery. I think they did last episode. I forget completely, but they are going to get Victor Wambanyama. Hornets at 2, Magic at 3, and the Spurs fall all the way down to 5. And we do not have a first-round pick. Uh, I plan on getting one. Also, if you guys do enjoy this series, be sure to leave it a like. I'll keep Chris Finch for now, but he's not safe. I know I fired him last episode, or do I want to uh, look for a new coach? If I, if I hire a new coach, I'll let you know. All right, we've made it to the NBA draft. And this time, I will not accidentally go into the draft. I want to see my draft picks. We had this 19th pick and the 23rd pick in the second round. And last time, there was a player by the name of, I think it was Beecham. He was a point guard. That I actually really liked. Reese Beecham. This is the player I'm going to target. Because I actually really liked him. I ended up trading for him. At the end of last um, um, episode. After I was done recording. I want to try and draft Beecham. I think our second round picks will be enough. But I know last episode I said I was going to trade a star player. And that star player is going to be. Carl Anthony Towns. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to trade him now. But. What package I'm looking for? I'm not looking for a star player or a player at the same caliber. I'm looking for draft capital. Because if you know, the Timberwolves gave away their entire draft capital uh, to the uh, Utah Jazz in the Rudy Gobert trade. And I know we're not going to be able to trade Rudy Gobert. Well, well he's mostly going to have to stay on the team because no one's going to take on his contract. So he's most likely stuck here. So he will be our starting center. The only realistic option is if I um, bought him out. But I think as a player option. So... That'd be a while. Yeah. So we'd have to buy him out in like 2025 when he opted in. So maybe this next season he can play up to par. I still want to make a playoff push. I'm not rebuilding. I'm retooling. But hopefully he can have a great year next year. If not like close to it. And his draft value will go up. But we'll see. Now a team I think Carlton and Towns would fit perfect with is the Miami Heat. I'm not saying that as a Heat fan. I am a little. But I think he fit perfect there. And... They move on from Kyle Lowry's salary. They get another all-star caliber player. A player that would fit perfectly, literally perfectly alongside Bam. They are taking on some more salary cap space. But I'm getting two unprotected first-round picks. Nikola Jovic and Caleb Martin. I want Caleb Martin in this deal. I want him to be um, our starting small forward next season. If not off the bench, I just really love Caleb Martin, to be brutally honest with you. Uh, but really, the centerpiece is Jovic and these two first-round picks. I wish I can get more picks. I guess I can get their second round pick, but uh, as you can see, uh, if I get rid of this, uh, this one is a protection backup, so they can't get rid of it. All right, the Heat are not budging on this, so you know what? I was going to give them Kyle Anderson, but I don't want to. They want Kyle Anderson, Duncan Robinson. Uh, Kyle Anderson's on a one-year deal, but he's still really good. I'm definitely, I can't give up Kyle Anderson in this trade. There's no way. Bro, I'm not giving you a first for Duncan. It's just not happening. I'll give you that Josh guy, too, who's not even going to play. I'm just going to do this trade, then, because I feel like Cat with the Heat is the best fit. Carl Anthony Towns, Wendell Moore, three second-round picks to the Heat for Kyle Lowry, two first, Jovich Martin, and Duncan Robinson. Done. Deal. Blockbuster trade is complete. So, our rotation, most likely next season, will look like Kyle Lowry, Anthony Edwards, uh, Caleb Martin, Rudy Gobert, and we'll figure out what we're going to do with that uh, power forward position. But another trade, I want to see if it's possible to trade Kyle Anderson for a late first. All right, so I just got a 2024 first round pick 
for Kyle Anderson from the Sixers, just more draft capital. I only have the 19th pick in this draft, so I'm really hoping uh, Reese falls to that pick. Uh, so let's see. Nope, I do not. I want to see if Reese, Reese Beecham is here. He's not, is he? Oh, some, someone drafted him. Who drafted him? He, I really wanted him. I'm going to find him. I'm going to find him. Draft summary. Reese Beecham. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. This man went 26 to the Pacers. All right, Indiana. I'm going to try and grab him away from you, to be really honest. But you, last time, he didn't even get signed. So maybe I won't have to. But we'll, let's see. I can't even trade for him. So you know what? I'm going to make this pick and hope they don't sign him. Because if they don't sign him, I could steal him. Uh, Keontae Johnson, he's 23. But he's pretty good. Obviously, I didn't scout him much. But B minus offense, B minus defense. Uh, his only weakness is poor offensive. He tends to make mad plays. Uh, he might be the pick. Keontae Johnson might be the pick. And 23 years old, he is old for a rookie. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna take him. I'm gonna take him and hope that pick pays off. Victor Wembanyama to the Rockets. Brandon Miller goes to the Hornets. That makes sense because they don't really need Scoot, but they could have played Lamelo at the shooting guard. Scoot Henderson goes to the Magic. They had another point guard, so that means Cole Anthony or someone will be on the market. And we could look at them to play alongside Kyle Lowry. Uh, Jarvis Walker goes to the Blazers. Uh, Greg Dickey goes to the Spurs. Cam Whitmore. Let's see what overall our guy was. He was a 70 overall. All right, we passed up on uh, 272s, this point guard, Jazz. And uh, this dude, I'm not even going to say his name. But not terrible. I'm definitely He's got zero badges. Hmm. <laughs> Didn't anticipate. I'm, I'll sign him. I'll sign him. We'll see if he can develop in the G League. Anthony Edwards, we're going to accept. And Jaden McDaniels, we're going to accept. We are going to let everyone else walk. I'm going to decline the uh, qualifying offer on Alexander Walker or Nikhil. Al Alex what? It is Alexander Walker. I got confused with Shea Gill, just Alexander for some reason. And this is what free agency is looking like. Uh, Kyrie is going to the Magic because of 2K. James Harden going to the Sixers. back. Hey, the Rockets are actually number two, just like in real life. I kind of hope he goes to the Rockets, so <laughs> that becomes a reality. Chris Stapps to the Pacers. Brooke Lopez looks like he's going to the Thunder. Uh, Vooch is probably going back. Miles Bridges has no offers. Okay, interesting. We'll, we'll make some moves of our own. First one we're going to try and do is not working so far. I'm trying to get Reese Beecham from the Pacers. Uh, do you all want Duncan? Y'all want Duncan's contract? I know you want Duncan's contract. Who wouldn't? Who? I'm just going to try and do this. Keontae Johnson and Duncan Robinson for... Wow, they didn't do it. I'm not giving up a first for him. There we go. All right. We got Reese. I don't care if that was unrealistic. I, I wanted him on the team. I really like him. And I have some trade targets. I know free agency isn't going to be uh, huge for us because we're the Minnesota Timberwolves. We're not going to bring in a lot of free agents. But our main position of target... Is going to be a uh, power forward. Mo Actually, no, not even power forward. Gonna, I'll move Jaden to the power forward. I'll move Caleb to the small forward. It's mainly just backup positions, to be honest, and more depth. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to move Jaden McDaniels. He's going to be a power forward. Power forward, small forward. Caleb's going to become a small forward, like his true position. Uh, Jovic, power forward, center. Uh, Lowry's a point guard. Anthony Edwards. All right. Yeah, so that's it. And I'm going to go try and maybe look at some of those uh, Orlando point guards, seeing that they're going to get Kyrie Irving. Who we got here? Markel Volts, I think they're most likely to keep. They're getting Kyrie Irving, but drafted Scoot Henderson. What are they doing? What is Orlando doing? So you tell me they're going to have... They're going to have Cole Anthony, Scoot Henderson, Markel Fultz, Jalen Suggs, and Kyrie Irving. Um, I mean, you guys do what you want to do, but I will I will pry one of these. Like, I'll pry a Cole Anthony from you guys. I'm going to try and do that. All right, last day. We're going to sign Nikhil Alexander-Walker to his qualifying because they gave me the action. I'm not even going to sign. It's not, oh, it's not going to let me decline it. Uh, Nas Reed, we're going to bring back on a four-year, $33 million contract. Jay Rich on a two-year, $5 million contract. The third year is going to be a team option. And Josh Kochu, basically the same contract. Let's see if we can get him. We get him all. That is, I think, pretty huge for bench depth. Uh, so that gives us a backup shooting guard in Jay Rich. 
Uh, we have Josh Koji now to back up, most likely Caleb Martin. He actually comes back to Minnesota. Uh, we have a backup power forward in Jovic already. We have Jaden McDaniels. And we got Naj Reed back to back up Rudy Gobert. So I really like this team. I plan on um, having Beecham in the uh, G League for this year, for most of this year. So I want to go out and try and trade for Cole Anthony to maybe be the backup and later be the starter if we trade Lowry at the deadline. So let's check out where these players went. So Kyrie did sign with the Magic. Uh, why not? Harden goes to the Sixers. Porzingis goes back to the Mavericks. Uh, Brooke Lopez goes to the Thunder to back up Chet Holmgren, I guess, or play the power forward. Uh, Jamon Green back to the Warriors. Kyle Kuzma to the Cavaliers. That's a huge pickup. D'Lo back to the Lakers. And as you see by the contracts, these are pretty realistic. Uh, 46 mil for Kyrie, 44, 27. 20 mil for Brooke Lopez is a bit up there. Uh, that's interesting, but... I mean, I guess that's where the player minute slider comes in. Jamon Green gets 25. But, like, Kuzma getting 16, he'd probably get more than that, but that's good. This D'Lo contract's, like, perfect. Uh, this Vucevic contract is near perfect. Jordan Clarkson contract, he goes to the Heat for 10 mil. That's a steal. Then when he goes back. But, yeah, most of these contracts, I think, are pretty damn good. Like, this Mike Conley contract is something I see him getting in real life. Same thing with Harrison Barnes. But some of these East teams are loading up. The Heat are looking really good now. Added Jordan Clarkson to be that backup shooting guard. So as you can see, Cole Anthony is now the third point guard in the depth chart. And uh, I guess it wasn't that bad of a move because Jalen Suggs is technically a shooting guard. They also just drafted Anthony Black, who can play small forward for them. So I might help them in that regard. But I'm going to try and steal Cole Anthony from them. He has three-star value. Uh, I don't know what they would need because I'm going to move Anthony Black to a small forward for them. So I guess they need a backup center. Uh, we just signed Nas Reed. So I might go out there and try and sign a backup center for them. And we might have to use some of our picks we just got. So let me see if I can maybe get a deal done. All right, I'm going to see if this is going to go through. We're going to give up Yaka Pirtle and this 2026 Utah pick. That is a swap worse. So if that's a high pick, the Utah Jazz can just swap it back. So I don't really care about it too much for Cole Anthony. And that trade goes through simple as that. They needed a backup center. I went and signed one. And the deal is done. So I like our roster going into this year. Uh, I might sign some more players. Nikhil Alexander-Walker. He most likely is to get traded. I might sign just another power forward just because uh, Westbrook's still here. He's probably going to the Pistons, mostly on a prove-it deal. That makes sense. Uh, do I bring in Jay Crowder? Um, For more... Nah, I'm going to bring in Stanley Johnson. Bring in Stanley Johnson on a one-year minimum. And that will be my final uh, signing. Did I sign him? I guess I signed him. Or did he sign somewhere else? Stanley Johnson? Hello? Uh, I did not sign him. I don't know what happened then. He's still here. I thought I signed him. Pending offer, Stanley Johnson. There it is. All right, Stanley Johnson, that is going to be our final signing. This is everyone else. Like, I can't fix Melo. I don't know why he wants 16 mil. I don't know why at all. But as you can see, these players all want lower money, which makes sense. Uh, Josh Green is unrestricted. For some reason and he's mostly going to the wizards but all the main free agents have signed uh so simulate to the end of free agency player progression anthony edwards jumps up to a 90 rudy gobert falls cole anthony jumps up he's now an 82 so good trade for us uh no one else moves lowry uh got the flu but he is a 77 overall it doesn't seem like he regressed jovich went up alexander walker jay rich all went up uh if we go to next season all right, so I don't know how much you guys just missed because um, I had the recording pause the entire time. But we're at this point of the season. I did all my rotations. Uh, I don't. I forgot. This is what the roster looks like. I forgot where I left it off. Oh, I left it off when I was doing the tendencies. Yeah. So I went around and fixed everyone's tendencies. That's what the roster looks like. So maybe you guys didn't see the rotation because I have new uniforms for this team, as you can see in the portraits. So maybe, maybe I didn't leak the new uniforms. You'll see the new uniforms against the Phoenix Suns next episode when we play them. But just to show you the player stats so far on the year, um, I was going over them. Anthony Edwards is averaging 28 points on amazing efficiency. Cole Anthony's having himself a hell of a year. Uh, most of food player conversations. Caleb Martin, 13 points on fantastic, almost 50, 40, 90. Uh, Jalen Mc, I mean, Jaden McDaniels also shooting 43% from three. Nas Reed strong off the bench. I was mentioning how Jay Rich uh, might lose some minutes here because he is off to a, a rough start this year. Jovic is off to a fantastic start along with Kyle Lowry. It may be only seven points, but he's not getting many minutes. He's only getting 14 minutes. 
Gobert is struggling, and I'm going to take Koji's minutes away because he's not played good, and we can shorten down the rotation and give more minutes to Larry and Jovic. But like I said, I don't know how much you saw, but next episode we'll be facing the Phoenix Suns, so that's it for me. GG.